<laughs> All right, everybody is tweeting this at me. Um, I guess I've got to respond to it. Let's read this article and find out what is going on with Tico. Hello, I started this gangster shit. And this the thanks I get. Hello, I started this gangster shit. And this the mother thanks I get. Hello. Hey, if you're new here and enjoying the content, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button. Join us. All right, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and I am Ethan Van Skyver. Well, that's actually Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. But uh, I'm a 26-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan. So like I said, everyone is sending me this, this weirdo tweet uh, that is suggesting that it's quite possible. And indeed it is quite possible that Rose Tico is going to get her own TV show. And people are saying, aren't you excited about this? Yes, I am. Uh, many people know I am the number one Rose Tico fan. See her up there staring at me as I work? Uh, she's up there with uh, Fabio as well. They're, they are the Comicscape power couple. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about the possibility of a Rose Tico uh, TV show. But you know what? I don't want to get my hopes up. We The thing about Lucasfilm is that they offer things through the media. They kind of suggest that there's going to be a Boba Fett movie. They, they suggest that there's going to be an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. Rumors get out that George Lucas is coming back to direct something. Uh, they, they do all this stuff all the time. They give and then they take back. And when they take back, hearts are broken, uh, lives are shattered, uh, and uh, people cry in the streets. So I don't want to be one of those people who's going to cry in the streets over Tico. I don't. Uh, you know, like, give it to me straight. Let, you know, don't don't mess with me. Don't break my heart. Uh, and this is the article, of course, that the uh, the my gosh, it is this Twitter uh, tweet. This Twitter tweet. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I'm very excited. Can you hear it in my voice? Uh, this tweet has been circulated around. Okay, it has gone viral. Uh, I don't know if very many people have actually clicked on the link to actually read what the article associated with it says, but we're going to do that here. We're going to put on our speculation caps. Uh, we're going to be, um, we are going to be, we're going to be critical of this, okay? We're going to be skeptical. We're going to be skeptics. Star Wars skeptics. We're going to do it together. Look at this from HN Entertainment. Never heard of them. Exclusive list of Disney Plus. Okay, so Disney Plus is the streaming service. Star Wars series Lucasfilm is right here. Yeah, you see this word right here? Okay. It means nothing. This means nothing already. Damn it. I mean, it's nice to... And why, why would Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia be up here? I don't think they're considering a Carrie Fisher Princess Leia TV series for the Disney Plus streaming service. That's just a guess on my part. Uh, but let's go forward here. Uh, Disney is gathering up a lot of interesting projects, including a wave of Marvel Studios-produced shows that include Loki, Vision, and Scarlet Witch. I heard about these. Uh, and a series that would see Bucky and Falcon teaming up. Lucasfilm is no different. They've already lined up two shows for the streaming service, with Jon Favreau's Mandalorian recently wrapped. All right, this one looks like it's going to be kind of fun. Diego Luna's Cassian Andor prequel series, Yawn. I'm sorry, I, I you know, I liked Rogue One, but I don't remember any of the characters from Rogue One. I don't, I don't remember them, and I, I really don't care. Uh, I remember the Darth Vader scene at the end. I remember seeing um, Princess Leia, uh, CGI Princess Leia. She looked like a video game, like a really good video game, but she did look like, it looked like video game graphics. Uh, that's why I liked Rogue One. I don't remember Cassian Andor. Um, I really don't care, and I guess, uh, you know, uh, all right, you know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. When I hear about it, I get a little bit irritable, and I go, all right. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like being offered junk mail. You're like, okay, thanks. Hey, here's a coupon for 25% uh, off of a pizza at Pizza Hut. Okay, all right, thanks. That kind of thing. That's how I feel about Cassian Andor getting his own TV show. Thanks, I guess. I guess this was nice of you. Uh, it sounds like they're not stopping with the two shows we've already heard about. No, we can't stop them. Uh, we've now got our hands on a list of potential Star Wars shows that could be put into development. The five shows on our list, uh, on our source, provide us... Uh, let me read that again. The five shows on the list our source provided us. And who is that source? Something tells me uh, his last name is a number. Something tells me his last name is a number that is the sum total of nothing. Uh, that's that's my guess. Uh, includes a streaming service focused on characters such as Princess Leia Young. Um, okay, so, that, so that's why. But it's not going to be Carrie Fisher, is it? It would probably be. Uh, it would definitely have to be a new actress. 
Captain Phasma, yawn. Knights of the Ren, mm, uh, Rose Tico, Rose Tico. Uh, and the big standout that caught our eye was uh, for one Sith Lord Darth Bane. No, what are you talking about? Rose Tico is the one that matters here. A Rose Tico show uh, starring Kelly Marie Tran would make everything better. I would definitely subscribe to Disney+. Plus. Again, let me let me make this very clear. Uh, I would subscribe to Disney Plus to watch Rose Tico every single day. There should be a Rose Tico TV uh, series. It might be a sitcom. Maybe there should be a Rose Tico sitcom TV series where she she shocks people. That'd be great. I mean, her whole job, her whole thing in the movie was she was given a taser and she was told to shock anyone who wanted to abandon the volunteer army of the resistance. Hey, uh, if they're trying to abandon the ship that's about to explode and kill every single one of them, make sure you tase them, okay, so that they don't get to leave and steal one of these escape shuttles. Rose Tico's like, can do. Give me the taser. This is the kind of power I've always sought. And then she proceeded to shock people probably in the scrotum uh, with a taser to keep them from leaving this volunteer army. Imagine if you joined the Salvation Army and you were out there ringing a bell, collecting donations uh, for the Salvation Army, and then you tried to quit. And uh, Rose Tico, uh, Kelly Marie Tran, came up and shocked you in the testicles uh, with a taser uh, for trying to leave. You would be annoyed, wouldn't you? But it would be funny, and that's what I suggest uh, that this TV show be. I think it should be a sitcom about being shocked in the balls by Rose Tico. I would watch it every single, every single day. I would buy the Blu-ray. No, I would buy the 4D Blu-ray set complete with a, a bonus DVD. The Target edition with extra footage of ball shockery. Um, to be crystal clear, this is very, very early days, and these are not, and these shows are not about to be put in production. They're just ideas. They're considering internally at Lucasfilm Disney. Well, I hope since uh, you know it's still early, Disney will consider my idea of Tico Ball Shockery, and that could be the name of the show, Tico Ball Shockery the series. All right, more titles could be on their overall list. Uh, but these are some that have come our way. All right, so uh, there have been calls to see Stranger Things actress Millie Bobby Brown. I know, like, uh, she looks just like Princess Leia. Look at her. Play a young Princess Leia, which fandom had a decent reaction to, and seemingly uh, Millie was into the idea. She dressed up for Leia as Leia for Halloween last year. Will we see that become a series? That remains to be seen. Um, I'm going to say no, uh, but that's because Disney's stupid. That would be great. Everybody would like that. Um, let's see. With the Skywalker saga ending, uh, with Star Wars Episode Nine, there is a lot of potential. See, there's no information about this. Um, The Mandalorian will debut this fall with the launch of the Disney Plus streaming service. I have, I, I, I guess I'm gonna get it. I guess I'm gonna get it. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I would buy it immediately if they would do the Tico Ball Shockery show. Uh, but I don't know. I need more inroads at Disney Lucasfilm. I'm going to hit up Pablo Hidalgo. Pablo Hidalgo said that I uh, he didn't... Well, you know what? Pablo Hidalgo didn't block me when he blocked everyone else uh, this uh, past uh, weekend. He blocked everyone this weekend, except for me. Everyone in the Fandom Menace is blocked, but he said, I'm digging Ethan's scene. He didn't really say that, but he said something like that. Uh, I'm going to hit Pablo Hidalgo up. He's in the story group with a Tico Ball Shockery uh, TV show and run it past him. Uh, I would be perfectly willing to go work for Lucasfilm Story Group on condition that I get to work on the Rose Tico uh, sitcom that involves her electrically shocking uh, people who tried to leave the resistance. God, that would be funny. That would be a really good show. Nobody listens to me. What the hell, man? <sighs> I, I'm an idea machine, and not enough people respect that. All right, listen, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed this content, you agree with me that the Tico Ball Shockery Show should uh, be brought to the Disney Plus streaming service. Let me know in the comments below. Also, uh, subscribe to this channel. Join this family. We want you here. We want you to be a part of this group of, uh, of Star Wars fans and, and critics. Uh, we need you to be here. Uh, so subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Check and make sure that you're still subscribed. YouTube is nefariously unsubscribing um, subscribers to the to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I don't know why. 
I don't know why. I, I try not to take it personally, but sometimes I do. Uh, so double check, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll see you again soon with another video. Thanks. Bye. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there. Join the Fandom Menace and execute your own Order 66 with our incredible line of t-shirts, Soy Low, A Soy Wars Story, Tico, A Soy Wars Story, and our brand new smoking hot Soy Wars Plan 9. Make a statement today. This is the only trilogy you'll ever need. The link is below in the description. If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Bring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.